The Speed Duel Podcast is now also on Spotify. Links in the description. Starting now. Welcome, Martin. How do you pronounce your last name? Weiss? Weiss? Weiss. 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 Martin Weiss, welcome. Thank you for uh, for joining me. I just wanted to uh, get uh, get a hold of you. I'm glad we connected so quickly because I saw that you just announced some things for uh, speed duel tournaments you're doing in here in uh, in April. But uh, first, I just wanted yep. to you know have you if you can just introduce yourself because you know you dabble more in the remote stuff. Uh, the community is kind of a little a little fragmented with uh, you know everybody being remote and doing dueling book and and remote. But I know that you're based here in the states and you uh, you work. Uh, kind of in the LGS space. So if you tell us a little bit about yourself. Yep. Well, I'm Martin Weiss. I am the owner of Waffles and Enthusiasm LLC. It's a startup card store. Uh, I decided to start up a card store in February after working four years at Alternate Universes. I decided it was time to start a card store. Had gathered a lot of knowledge and stuff and was ready to move on with the store. So for Remote Duel, I started basically last year, June 2020, Doing remote duel with just TCG A fans constructed, uh, and then with alternate universes, and then moved on to speed duel after the recommendation of my friend Jeff Wu. Oh, Jeff Wu started Wu. with speed. He re- yep. he's got that uh, the Arena of the North Facebook group. Yep. Right. yep, he's a friend of mine uh, from Minnesota. I've actually met with him a few times, judged a few events with him, and we started kind of small, and then. With Speed Duel, and then I expand on with Speed Duel box tournaments, even Battle City box tournaments, play mat tournaments, and there were participation packs for it. Konami gave Ultimate Universe the green light to have sanctioned Speed Duel tournaments, so I got Speed Duel Tournament Pack 2 after running out of Speed Duel Tournament Pack 1. And then when I started my store in February 2021, I a lot of the players from Alternate Universes came over to my server. This was the original Alternate Universes server, but I converted it to the Waffles and Enthusiasm server and kind of had a lot of free tournaments. And then for a while, I've been trying to look, and this is why we're discussing this now. I've been trying to look for Trials of the Pharaoh items since that was a European exclusive and I'm based in Pennsylvania, United States. So I've been looking everywhere for them. The cups, the battle studio care cards, the shirt, anything related, because I wanted to bring it back so the speed duel player base here in the United States would have an opportunity to play for them. But after searching for not even a day, (laughs) I was able to find someone who had the stuff, and it was someone who played in my remote duel tournaments, and we worked something out, and we just received it yesterday. So what we so this is what my my brother was the one who got the stuff. My brother Scott. We decided to call this series the Quest for the Trials. Now, it's going to be an interesting uh series. I'm going to have six speed duel tournaments. They're going to have entry fees. Players from anywhere in the world can play as long as they have a valid address. And it's remote, have, right? So it's not, you yes, know, you got to have the remote. physical cards. It's on, it's on Discord, not not dual in book, not EDO Pro. This is this is remote video duels. You'd be able to. You need a cab, a, a setup. And whether it's your phone or a laptop or a webcam on your desktop. And these are all happening and, in April, like in a week, just by, actually yeah. sooner. So, yeah, uh, this Saturday. So I'm gonna have six tournaments. They're gonna have separate prizes, like gonna have headphones, uh, a mouse. A keyboard, a portable keyboard um, for your mobile device. And i um, going to have a win a box tournament for Scars of Battle. And there's going to be what is a, a points leaderboard, the Quest for the Trials points leaderboard. So you will get points based. So, for example, let's say there are three rounds and you win all three. You get nine points. Nine points will be added to the leaderboard. And each tournament, you'll there will be points added based on how you finish. If you drop from the tournament, you get no points. But even if you have one win, which is three points, that will go to the leaderboard. At the end of the month, the top four players on the leaderboard will each receive a locator card, Charles the Fair locator card of their choice. 
Can you go into a little bit of detail on what the, uh, because it's not, you're right, it was a promotional item in Europe, and not too many people may be completely familiar with it. Um, the All locator right, so, cards and the yeah. other trial stuff, yeah. So Trials of the Pharaoh was a European exclusive like event series that took place during the summer of 2020 throughout Europe. These were in-person events, and what you had were trials, so they came with trials cards. I, I got this one from Italy. The person played in a lot of Italian Trials of the Pharaoh events, and unfortunately I can't read Italian, so I can't translate <laughs> what they say, but it said you had to do a specific amount of trials. So whenever you complete a task, you got a certain item. And every time you complete a task, you keep getting these items. Now the hardest item, I think, well, I'm gonna have my brother correct me, was the t-shirt. The t-shirt was the hardest item to get. Um, it was, um, it had um, Merrick on the front of the shirt, mm -hmm. Yami Merrick, and on the back, I think are the three Egyptian gods in their, like, tal in their, in their tablet form. So the hieroglyphics, so pretty cool. And uh, the battles, the, the locator cards are supposed to, they're supposed to like, I guess, be like reminiscent of the locator cards from from uh, Battle City. Mm -hmm. um, there are six locator cards. Yeah. So we have based on the Millennium item. So there's one with the Millennium Puzzle, Millennium Rod, Millennium Eye, Millennium Scales. You put them all together, it shows all of the Millennium items. So, only if they were available in the States. Right. That's, That's a huge collector's item. We just item. don't have... Yep. It's going to draw a lot uh, of people. A lot of people would... Yep. So, yeah. I wanted to bring that here to the United States to give people opportunity to win European exclusive prizes for affordable costs. You, you, you would get participation packs um, for the Winnebox tournaments. Unfortunately, I don't have any Speedle Torn packs, so they would get OTS pack for the like the, the smaller ones, like the head when a headset, when mouse. Those would be five dollar entry. They would get three speed uh, three Speedle booster packs, so they would get two Scars of Battle and one Attack from the Deep. So gotcha. even though even though Wobbles and Enthusiasm is not yet an official tournament store, I want to have the atmosphere. Because I'm getting ready to apply to become an official tournament store, so I want to have the atmosphere. If there's going to be an entry fee, I want people to get something back, just like an official tournament. So you're in the states, and it sounds like based on your history. And I remember you know, I was scrolling through our message history, and I, we interacted in I think as early as July of last year. July. Of yeah, last year. yeah. Um, doing remote stuff, I and mean, that's you know the remote stuff was really really fun. Um, kind of during this downtime where we couldn't play. And I know it sounds like you have a really, you know, you seriously have a, a resume of working with alternative universes, which I, I believe it sounds like there was more than one location. It was kind of a chain in the, yep. the state you're in. And uh, what made you, can I ask, what made you, um, what made you want to move towards the kind of the entrepreneurship of opening your own store? Is it going to be a physical well, location? Or are you, how's that going? <laughs> so I've been buying to open my own store since 2018. I just didn't have the knowledge, so I used the time at Alternate Universe to gain the knowledge. And not going to go into detail, but I had a huge disagreement with Alternate Universes. Like, we couldn't agree upon... It, it had to do with Remote Duel. I'm yeah. not going to get into detail, but we couldn't agree upon something. So I decided, all right, they, they don't want to agree upon this. I'm going to go. I'm going to start my own store. And they are actually they were actually pretty supportive about me starting my own store, which... Kind of shocked me, but uh, start, start my own store. Um, I was originally going to intend on just ha, stopping remote duel until I opened the physical location, but I decided, all right, I want to keep having remote duel. So I kept remote duel. A lot of the people from Altering Versus came over to the Waffles Enthusiasm server. Mm -hmm. I am looking into having a physical store. i just waiting for a little bit of paperwork to get through first, but I have a location in mind. There will be a physical store. And the reason why Waffles and Enthusiasm, this was going to be with my a kind of a family business. I'd operate the card store portion, and then my parents, along with my brother, would all do, there would be a restaurant, a waffle cafe. Oh my gosh, and really? Waffles and Enthusiasm. <laughs> I, I heard a lot about coffee shop. There are a lot of like coffee shop game cafes, but there isn't a waffle restaurant card store because waffles and Fusia was a name developed my brother by brother we we used to work in the restaurant industry and he once had an expression babe ruth 
hit home runs on hot dogs and beer. I do my work on waffles and enthusiasts. And my, <laughs> and my mom's like, that's a great idea for a business. And then my brother wasn't inter- interested in going to business, but he said, hey, Martin, maybe you could make a card store and a waffle cafe out of it. So now there's a, it's a lot of work to get a restaurant license. Sure. Um, it, it took a while for me to get the business license for this, got the business license for this. That didn't take as much work. But the restaurant, I anticipate not having a restaurant until a year after my storefront begins. Because I have to get the license, have to get health code uh, clearance and all that stuff. So sure. start that out of the card store and then I'm going to, the space I have in mind is going to have the Waffle Cafe with the card store. So when you're done your match or done playing, you could just get a waffle. <laughs> that is fantastic. So, I was already going to give you props for the name because I like, you know, I like the name. You know, the, it really grabs you. <laughs> Um, I'll be now enthusiastic. Here... My brother's the waffle. <laughs> I love that. That's a great. I can certainly tell how, you that there's not one it, like that yet. That, and that's the. Uh, I did apply for the trademark. So if you Google search, I did. Google I did a little bit of research, and I, I see that you have the uh, LLC kind of pending there. So that's the story. That's the story with the name. Like, it started out as like a an idea of let's take something unique, and then in February I was like, all right, it's time. <laughs> That, I love that backstory. And I'm actually getting more speed duel players. Like a lot of the speed duel players from all three universe came over, but then we got newer ones, like even more international. I have a player from Sweden. Ooh, okay. Uh, and then we have, I have two foreign speed duel players right now, international players. I have Sweden and then I have Italy. Yeah. Like I said, yeah. I am open to anyone. So if a person's from Europe, welcome. Australia, welcome. Anywhere, welcome. I am welcoming to it because this is a very pandemic made a very difficult time and some people may not be able to go to a store play it's not safe enough like here in pennsylvania our case counts are going up mm-hmm. and we are we are like easing restrictions for restaurants and a lot of people are like get your store to get your physical store have it. i'm like i do want the physical store I, I could get that together but i can't have in person not until Konami, even though i'm not yet an official tournament store konami didn't approve of organized play yet we are still at like, I want to say 15% capacity. Mm-hmm. So it's just not the right time for in-person. So I'm keeping up with remote, make sure that it just continues on. Yeah, I'm, I'm in, well, I was going to say I'm in New York. I'm right next door to you. And uh, I'm seeing kind of those restrictions kind of, they're still in place, you know, things are easing just a little bit, but there's still no organized play. But how was the foot traffic? You're in pretty much close to, you're close to Philly, right? kind of major yeah. city so how's the foot yeah. traffic in in au prior is it a lot of interest so, in speed duel specifically there actually wasn't a lot we had one or two, like three or four people but most of the players before we had like the international players most of them were from the west california arizona got some in texas even midwest minnesota so i was getting a lot of people out there and then when they heard about remote, I started getting some local people. So I had someone not too far away from AU join a few months ago. Had someone from Delaware, which is closer to one of the AU locations, Delaware join. So once they heard that remote, so remote kind of actually helped get more local speed duel players. When they heard that there was a, a bigger amount of people, they started joining. So yes and no. So we got about... Gotcha five or so people locally that's usually I'm trying to get more mm-hmm. that's usually what i what i said because before I, I i was in south florida prior to like not even a year ago and then i, I moved away from there just because of uh opportunities but um yeah i noticed even even south florida we consider highly populated it's six people you know and it was like on a sunday um at the lgs is there so it sounds about right but um you know clearly you have the support and and the passion for at least this this format certainly i know you do traditional you know advanced format things like that obviously those are great are uh, you do any magic pokemon anything like that too is it something you're interested uh, in i'm looking into it it's just with getting the storefront together yeah Oh sure. was my passion i started following Oh when metal raiders came out in 2002 oh, so wow. <laughs> i do want yeah yes yeah, so i'm like a dinosaur for you but <laughs> and i've been around the entire time but uh for, for the most part, but I am looking into Pokemon. Pokemon's kind of a little expensive right now due to sure. the Logan Paul surge. All of the products are just impossible to get a hold of distributors out of Magic. I played Magic a little. Kind of was hard for me to get into it, but I do want to have Commander and stuff. Oh yeah, that's a great I one. was, 
I was in collaboration with a store in Alberta, Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. Um, we're having a store versus store championship series, TCG Advanced Constructed, and they've been looking for another store to have Command, uh, Commander League with, Remote Commander League. And it, it's something I do want to explore as well, but with being a Yu-Gi-Oh! specific Discord, we I do have a few Cat Commander players. I, I'm going to try to get a few together for that, but I am looking to explore into Pokemon, at, and, and especially Digimon, the yes. Digimon Surge. It, I do want to get into Digimon the game's as fun. Well. The game's fun too. Mm. I'll tell you, I'm playing I, it tonight. I, I do. <laughs> a lot of people are like you getting Digimon. Yeah. Do you know any distributors from them? That's the problem. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, so like, I do want to get into those more heavily, like Pokemon, Digimon, Magic. I do want Magic. I just want to maybe focus on maybe like Modern Pioneer Commander. When it gets to Vintage of Legacy, it gets way too expensive. But I do want to be like an all round game store maybe some board games as well so yeah i am i am also looking into like the newer card games as well so yeah i'm open to all card games but right now i'm primarily focusing on Yu-Gi-Oh. but yes i am awesome. looking into the other card game yeah i love i mean digimon has been a, a big splash that's a great one magic's gonna be around forever you know you're always gonna get the magic guys if you go for it but you know my lg oh, yeah, exactly. my lgs up here has uh i guess that wizards did something or they did something where uh, to promote the spell table which is the remote thing uh the remote site where it's essentially you know it's discord but you can click on the cards and it kind of recognizes what the card is and can tell you um but they had us make a bunch of discords in the community, and that's kind of how it sounds like it's kind of how you're operating with Yu Gi Oh, which is pretty cool. It's the way yes. to go, you know, it's the way to go. Mm-hmm. So it's how we can all stay together for sure. Mm-hmm. Thank goodness for Discord, I'm telling you. But, um, yes, so this is a huge passion project. You know, just looking at I have your, your Facebook post open, and just to, because it's it's a lot to explain, I just want to go kind of down the line just to let the yeah. let people know kind of what's coming. So, we got six tournaments here in April on your discord server which that link will be in the description below um but you know we're starting on the 10th that's the earliest so we have saturday the 10th sunday the 11th saturday the 17th 8th sunday the 18th 18th, and then saturday the 24th 24th. sunday the 25th so that's three weekends since there are each pack has six locator cards and i had three of them so i'm thinking about doing this for april may and june so if you can't play in april there most likely will be another opportunity next month. And you can't play in May, there most likely will be another opportunity in June. This is something I've been looking into for months. Just had to wait for customs and everything because it took three weeks to get it from Europe. But this is uh, this is something very unique. I want, with, with like the help and the feedback from the community on my server, they all suggested like a sports league so i kind of did the leaderboard as a thing like my brother being a professional sports broadcaster also wow with the store he, he liked the idea as well where everyone liked the idea of being of it like a sports league and there'd be a leaderboard and they want to get on top of it so that's why that's where the idea came from do it as a leaderboard sort of thing is the leaderboard going to carry over the months? I mean, I love, I mean, based on the reception, hopefully it's very positive for you in this month, but it sounds like you, you, to do it multiple months would be great. Would the leaderboard carry over? Like, um... uh, I haven't been doing it that way. They reset Okay. going into each. That's how I was doing it with TCG. I did do it with Speed Duel as well, and I do have to mention one thing about Speed Duel. So this tournament series, and you probably have it in front of you right now, mm-hmm. um, a lot of the players, they weren't happy with the way the Speed Duel format was going like with Nightmare Wheel, Inner Conflict, and uh, Zone with a Spirit. We, I cre- with the help of the players, I created a custom speed duel for Ben Limited list. And a lot of people are happy with it because it's not the same two decks. You just have to use your creativity. So you, you don't have to rely on Zone with a Spirit. You have to think of other things to do. So this series will utilize that custom speed duel list. Yes. There are... There, yeah, um, because I, there's no define for being limitless for speed duel yet. Right. Yeah, we've seen a we've seen a couple communities trying. They're doing the custom ban list, and there's been some positive response to that. So I, my next question was going to be how you kind of got to some of the conclusions. Do you play uh, speed duel frequently yourself? I have only tried it once. Uh, I really wasn't into speed duel. This was something Jeff Wu brought to my attention. Be, he's be, we're being very good friends. Um, sure. 
and then I brought it to the attention of when I was at alternate universes because we would have enough for tournaments. We had like four or five each tournament and it'd be the same four or five people. And I don't even know if any of them, well, one of them played, but I lost contact with him and that was Kevin Bo. but mm. they would play. And then I, a lot of people were trying to get me to play. I would want to play warriors with like late night and <laughs> mm-hmm. build a warrior theme deck, but being busy with the store i just never got into it but i always i I just stay up to date with the rules and everything i never played dual links so i was never able to get like the idea of it so i want to i want to just go through the ban list really quick and um just ask you a couple questions because i was you know it sounds like you got a kind of a community behind you to form so like everything with the exception of nightmare wheel was with the players they all made those nightmare wheel was my suggestion i saw huh. how much confusion it was getting with like the book of moons and nightmare sure. wheel thing and how a lot of burn decks were just relying on nightmare wheel that's why i came up with the one everything else all with discussing with the players and everything else i will say is you know it's pretty much in line with some of the ban lists that we're seeing you know, there's nothing that that hits me like oh that's out so i'm just going to go through the list and for those of you on the youtube version uh, you'll see it on the screen we got for banned cards we have inner conflict and twisted personality those ones are gone parasite paranoid yep the no more moth uh, and zoma the spirit is banned here limited is jinzo union scramble and then there's nightmare wheel and then semi-limited uh two copies haunted shrine zombina Union Hanger and Sphere Karibo. It's interesting uh, with the Sphere Karibo there. But is this so, a, is this Duel Link style where for limited, it's like I could have a Jinzo, a Union Scramble, and a Nightmare Wheel, or is it I can only have one of those three? Oh, no. It's, um, you could have one of each. Uh, okay. It's just, a, it's just a, like in line with like TCG with Advanced yeah. Constructed. Gotcha. So you can have one of each, not, oh, I, you have to pick one of them. It's just one of each. So the, the Sphere Karibo one was interesting that one there was a little bit of a debate over um because a lot of people were relying on spear karibo to prevent from losing and then win the next turn uh that one kind of had a lot of um that was the one i had the most debate for went a lot of back and forth it was just one person who was complaining Mm -hmm. that why it should be at two everyone else was fine with it at two We, we didn't we didn't think that it should go anywhere below two but giving it a try there since implementing at two there have been no complaints yeah it's like i said it's it seems pretty in line with some other ban lists we've seen it shuts down it shuts down the big meta it shuts down any sort of inner conflict sort of monarch deck with the inner conflict it shuts down uh dark moth right. or moth with parasite paranoid and then it also doesn't make you know spellproof armor too bad because jinzo's limited and uh you know it hits uh xyz unions with the union scramble and hangar so i uh, you know and it also hits stall you know you're looking at zombie and haunted shrine in the semi-limited so as a, yeah. i think it's a pretty good list yeah it looks like it's going to be you know we had some we had another community member come out with a similar list last week for something that he's doing and it got a lot of positive response and i know people are already excited and play testing around you know okay great don't have to deal with inner conflict anymore so the community is actually being conditioned into yep. normalizing and appreciating these community ban lists so it looks it looks pretty good yeah yeah let's talk about what's coming up like right away we're going to have something on the 10th and the 11th one other question i have so like uh, for example i'm out of town next weekend so if i missed two of these dates and attended the other four how does that if i was somebody that had to miss two how would that affect my like the all right leaderboard? so so anyone can play at any time even if you're just playing for like a particular so for, for, so for example if you want to just play for the winner box that could be the only tournament you play in so it's very possible not to fall depending on the number of people like i think on my last leaderboard i had like nine or ten people and i usually did it to top two but since these are more higher of prizes moved it to top four so if you can't do a weekend you can jump in at any time it's possible to come up like even if we have if we have nine people which would be four rounds you could get 12 points and that will just move you up so Mm -hmm. the more you play the more you move up so it's possible if you miss a weekend that's okay you can play the next weekend gotcha okay and then it sounds like the saturday ones are going to consistently be at two o'clock eastern well i'm bouncing back and forth these tournaments i like to do polls for them because a lot of i get a lot of players from 
I get people from the West Coast, so they they want it earlier, so mm -hmm. they can do more later on. So for the when about, so a lot of people wanted 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time uh, Saturday. Uh, one of the players from Europe wanted to play. I didn't want to make it too late. So each week, I'm good. I only had those two defined times, as you notice on the list. I don't have times for the 17th, the 18th, the 24th, sure. the 25th yet. I still have to decide. Because I believe everyone should have an opportunity to play, so I've got to pull the player and see which time would work best for them. But okay. this week, 2 p.m. Saturday, Eastern Standard Time on Saturday, and 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Sunday seem to fall in line with the player's schedule. Gotcha, yeah. So this Saturday the 10th at 2 is the Win a Headset Tournament. Yes. And that's where you get the three speed dual booster packs for participation, and then the Correct. Sunday the eleventh at Two eight o'clock. OTS pack. Yep, Sunday you can is win a box of scars of battle. Yep. Okay. Sunday is box of scars of battle. That's at eight p.m. And you also receive the two OTS tournament pack fourteen. Yep. Okay. It looks like a really solid kind of tournament run here. It sounds like the best way to keep in touch with this and keep updated is, you know, I know I think you promoted a, a couple other places and, uh, you know, people will hopefully will be interested based on uh, on this discussion. But it sounds like the best place to keep yep. up with this is the Waffles and Enthusiasm Discord. Enthusiasm which, Discord. Yeah. Okay. Yep. And that will be linked below for you guys to join. I think that that was all I, I wanted to cover here. And yet it's just a lot. Um, but I know that. You know, want to make sure that it gets to the right people because it's definitely, you know, the ban list is something that people are becoming more and more interested in um, yeah. as, you know, the meta is solidified. We're not sure what's going on with new product for Speed Duel. We don't want it to get stale. And then also, like, these tournaments back-to-back -back on the weekend, it sound, sounds really great. Um, so, Martin, I appreciate your time. And uh, let me see. Me. Yeah, of course. And if there any other questions? Let me see if I have any questions for you. Uh, no, I'm just, I'm, I can't get over the, uh, the waffles and enthusiasm, uh, history there. That is, I am, I, you yeah. know, I'm, you have my full support and I'm really excited to see where that takes you, man. Thank you. But, uh, any, any other kind of future plans, a timeline of the physical location sounds like maybe we're going to start seeing things open up full capacity by, uh, by the end of the summer. Um, what are your immediate cool. future plans? I have an, I, I have a location it's like, I just have to get myself contacting a realtor for the lease i have yeah. i already have i have have there was a storefront that's been vacant for the past seven years and i, I, I want to get that one I, I already talked to my players they like that idea and i do want to my goal is to have that storefront by when i decide to start my business i decide i want to have the storefront by February 2022. If I can have by the end of this year, it would be great. But awesome. That's the goal is to have the storefront by February 2000. Sounds like a sounds like a realistic timeline. Well, that's great. Anything else you want to plug while I got you here? Well, if anyone wants to play, I have Speed Duel, I have TCG Advanced Constructed. I might have a few like unique tournaments. If you're not into meta for Advanced Constructed, I have a thing called Tier Free and Lower Deck. I haven't started it yet, but it's something that I'm working with the players on. I even have, for those who are interested in vintage formats like GOAT, I do that on occasion. So if there are any tournaments that you want, feel free to suggest them to me. I'm open to any suggestions. And to see the schedule, go to the upcoming Yu-Gi-Oh! Upcoming Events Text channel and the Waffles and Foods Season Discord server. Awesome. And that Discord server is linked in the description below, guys. So we have a, a three weekends of remote dual tournaments for Speed Duel. Thanks to Martin. Uh, Martin Weiss, Waffles and Enthusiasm. Thank you so much for coming on. Yeah, thank you for having me.